Before your next flight even leaves the gate, pilots are on the radio with air traffic controllers to get their clearance, basically the route instructions they'll need to fly you to your destination. This just a snippet from a conversation for an international flight taking nearly five minutes. The pilot has to read everything back. Sierra Yankee. Otter. And those voice exchanges can lead to mistakes. Seattle clearance, Alaska 9903. But these old exchanges are going away. Captain Brett Payton is Alaska's director of flight technology. To log on for our first the trip. new way, no talking required. Those clearance directions transmitted error free directly to the plane's flight management computer. I look at all pages of it. I can't accept it till I look at every single page. So there's a built-in there's a built-in confirmation that I'm getting all the information from the air traffic controllers. And it's a lot faster. One of the problems is that those instructions are often updated because of bad weather like thunderstorms that often forces pilots to have to pull over to update by radio. An update that can easily delay your takeoff by 15, even 20 minutes. But with the new data transmission system, there's no need to step out of line. It's instantaneous. It's a situation pilots could face today because of all that forest fire smoke. In a minor change like that, it, at least two or three minutes of savings. It's called Datacom. Those instructions are input here by an air traffic controller in the tower. And the controller you heard on that clip earlier is Heidi Gilbert. So Sean will pick one. He goes down to the bottom, looks through it, sees if there's any changes that have to be made hit send, that's how quickly we can send a clearance to the flight deck. The FAA says the system rolled out starting in January of 2016 ahead of schedule and millions under budget. It came to SeaTac last fall and about half the airliners are equipped to use it. When you have events like this with forest fires or other things that cause issues in the operation, that's putting stress on the air traffic controllers and the aircraft that are trying to get off the surface. The FAA's Jesse Winches manages the Datacom program, and it's not just used on the ground. But if part of that is, you know, moving aircraft around, right, um, in the airspace to get to their destination, Datacom helps with that. But analogies to texting in your car only go so far. This designed to make things safer. This is not texting and driving. This is communicating, which pilots are all highly trained to do. Datacom is part of a continuing rollout of a suite of technologies called NextGen for the next generation of air traffic control. At SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.